So I'm currently in an Uber on my way to the airport. Um, this trip is actually gonna be my first trip ever where I'm traveling with my surfboard. I'm taking my new pink fish, which is six foot five. Um, and I bought a board bag just for this trip. Um, I'm very excited to take it, but I'm also nervous. And I hope the board makes it to the final destination in one piece and without any dings. so excited about this video because I'm currently in beautiful El Salvador. It's my first time ever here and I'm staying at the La Pointe camp. I've been to a few La Pointe camps before but this one might just be my favorite one so far. I'm standing in my room right now and I can see the surf break from here. This place is right at the beach. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the camp later so you'll see for yourself. I am so looking forward to a week of surfing, sunshine, good food and exploring El Salvador. This trip is also my first trip ever that I've traveled with a board. The board made it here safe and sound without any dings which is awesome and yeah it's a good way to start the trip. And I want to learn how to do turns. I feel like when I longboard, I look like okay, but on the shorter board, I feel like I look super poopy and my like I put too much weight on my back foot. Because I try the other one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had so much fun surfing my new fish, but honestly, I'm still getting used to surfing a board that's smaller and not a long board. So I feel like I still look a little bit awkward on these waves trying to find my groove. social hosts here at the La Point camp in El Salvador and she's gonna help me give you guys a little tour of the camp so you can see what the camp looks like. I think first of all it'd be super interesting to know how big this camp is, like how many people can stay here. Yeah, so we can hold like 17 people in the camp and the camp is actually really new. It's been here for like 10 Weeks, isn't it? Yeah, very new, very new. We opened in August. And one of the coolest things about this camp is that it's right by the surf break. So right now we're actually up top at the yoga deck. Yeah. And you guys have yoga like three times a week, right? Yeah, so it's included in your package so you can do yoga whilst listening to the sound of the waves. So right now we made it to the pool. Amazing pool where you can see the sunrise, sunset and do your daily surf check or hang out with your friends after surfing. Should we go check out a room? Let's do that. So right now we're in one of the rooms. It's a two bedroom room. Yeah. And what are the other rooms you have? We have a dorm room with three beds in it. So if you're coming alone, don't worry. You can have roomies to make friends with. That's cool, that sounds really chill, just like three beds, so it's not like a huge dorm. A three bedroom dorm and those two bedroom rooms. Yeah. It's super nice here if you're traveling by yourself, it's really social. The social hosts are always around <laughs> and there's always someone to hang out with, so it's a great place to travel to by yourself. So to the most important part, the surfing. Um, how does that work at the camp here? Every day you'll meet your instructor here. You're with the same instructor all week. You've got them to yourself. It's private instruction here. And so good. And like the coolest thing about this camp is that you can walk directly to the surf break. Like, let me show you guys. 
you just walk down here and you're at the beach and the break is right there. So here's where the magic happens. <laughs> the food is made. The food here is amazing. It's so, so good. And what do you have included? You've got breakfast, lunch, and three dinners. And on the other nights, we eat out in a big group all together. Okay, I want to ask you one question. Um, what's your favorite thing about the LaPointe camp here? My favorite thing about the LaPointe camp are the people here. Yeah. Like our instructors, the locals in the water. Everyone here is just amazing and so, so kind. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. you, I am free. Ever before? Yeah, I need it more than that. My lifestyle's a backpack, tatted in black. It's whack. I mean, it's like I'm hiding all the ugly bits, only showing new kicks. They ain't even the half of it. I'm mastering the art of plastering with whitewash. The pastor tells me that it's legalism, and I'm lost. You're right. I'm circling around the sin and shame. It's hard to see the white with the canvas full of stains, but the rain already came. The gavel already fell. The savior of the world took it all on himself to tell me that my struggles already won the gun was unloaded on the perfect one the son of man i know when my weakness or fickle heart every day i'm given a new life a new start because i know my inheritance isn't from here so watch me run to the future without fear here i go far away i'll keep running in this race from my sin and from my shame I'm renewed, I'm not the same And I won't, won't look back And your grace keeps me on track And my song will never cease So one thing that has personally helped me improve my surfing the most is video analysis and at the La Pointe camps, they usually do video analysis for level 3 So when we were surfing today, someone was out on land filming us and right now I'm about to meet my surf coach here, Javier, and we're gonna look at the videos of my waves today and he's gonna go through them with me, analyze them and tell me what I can do better. I decided to one. I know. Okay? Oh yeah. It's good because it makes me proud of food. Had to see this. I guess it makes ah. Here I am again and the video analysis was so great, it was super super helpful. One of the main things that I took away from it was that I need to, especially surfing this like smaller board, um, is that I need to learn how to generate speed on the wave. The wave here is pretty mellow, so what I need to be doing is I need to do a bottom turn and I need to go up to the top of the wave and then cut back to the whitewash, just really like move because right now all I'm doing is I'm using the speed of the wave itself instead of generating speed through doing turns. So yeah, that's something that I really took away. I'm gonna try and really get to the top of the wave, look up to the top of the wave, and then go down again to get some speed. Um, yeah, I'll try it in the water tomorrow and hopefully I'll be able to do it. Do you feel safe in El Salvador? This is one of the most common questions I got asked whilst being on my trip. And I think it's very understandable because you often hear that El Salvador is super dangerous. I generally don't like responding to these sort of safety questions because I feel like it's so hard to generalize. There are so many cities in the world that are considered very, very safe, but at the same time, bad things can happen to you everywhere. I personally felt super safe there as a girl traveling solo. I can obviously only speak for the parts that I visited, but in the beach towns around La Pointe camp, I felt super safe. El Tunco, El Sunzal, El Zonta. For example, there were so many nights where I walked from El Tunco town back to La Pointe camp at the beach in the dark by myself and I still felt super safe. Overall, the locals in El Salvador have been so kind and so friendly to me and I was positively surprised by how safe I felt there. I just changed into my workout gear because I'm about to head to the yoga class. Here at La Pointe in El Salvador, they do yoga, I think, three times a week. Um, so I'm very excited to go to the class, especially after surfing. Yoga is the best thing ever. I tend to forget about stretching and doing yoga, um, which is not good because that stuff helps so much with your muscle soreness. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited for the class. Um, and this is the outfit that I'm wearing. These tights are from Aritzia. I love them. They're like the comfiest leggings, legging tights. I don't know how you call them. Comfiest shorts I've ever owned. And at the top, it doesn't really have a lot of support, but it's kind of cute. It's from Free People.
One of the things that has personally impressed me the most about El Salvador so far are the people here. Everyone is so friendly, so kind, so helpful, and I just feel so welcomed here. And every day I just feel so grateful to be in this beautiful country and for people to be so welcoming and nice. And today we're gonna do something which I'm very excited about. Um, so the main surf coach here, his name is Javi, he, he's been coaching me this week. He does surf lessons and swimming lessons for the local kids here every Sunday. And here at La Pointe, um, everyone helps him on Sundays. So I'm really excited to do that and to join them. Um, I think it's such a beautiful thing that they're doing this to give back to the local community and to, yeah, just support the local kids. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So I'm here with Enrique, who's the Point chef. He makes the best food ever. And um, today at the point we're doing a pupusa workshop, right? Pupusa workshop, yeah. Pupusa? Okay. Pupusa, yeah. pupusa is like the traditional um, all Salvadorian dish. Dish, exactly. Yeah. It's the yeah. uh, most common and more often eaten uh, dish okay. for the families in El Salvador. Okay, super nice. And these are the ingredients we're going to use. And then yep. We're going we to have. Uh, Maize dough, rice dough, some cheese, we call it quesillo because it's more elastic than yeah. normal. Some beans, some spinach, chorizo, loroco, which is the flour yeah. that I was telling you before. And we had some garlic, jalapeno, and tried to be creative in the way we just do the famous pupusa. Is it difficult to make? Do you think I can do it? You could do it. We will become a pro. Lightly boil our hands so we don't get a stick. Basically, we need to fill this with all those ingredients. Make a little hole and put the stuff here and then you just close it. We like just start clapping. So soft. Today is my last day here in El Salvador and I'm really really sad to leave. I've had the best time here. This country is so amazing. I'm so so happy I decided to come here. The surf has been so much fun. The weather has been amazing. The people here are honestly some of the nicest people I've met in my life. Um, I think overall this trip is probably one of my favorites this year, like for sure. And I'm 100% planning on coming back. The camp here is just absolutely out of this world amazing. I am in love and I'm definitely coming back. Um, 
and I just feel like being here has been such an amazing reset in a way um, just you know living a more simple life just surfing being barefoot most of the day enjoying good food waking up with the sunrise you know going to bed early it's just been so so nice for my soul in a way I actually just packed up my surfboard my fish which I didn't surf that much this week because the waves were smaller the first week I surfed it a lot well basically every day but the second week when the waves were a little bit smaller I just rented a longboard and a lot of you guys actually asked me on Instagram to share how I packed my surfboard to travel with it this is how I packed my surfboard to travel with it on an airplane first of all I let the board sit in the sun for a little bit which makes it so much easier to take off all the wax then I take out the fins and I've started using this little towel behind the fin when I try and push it out to make sure that I don't damage the board then I put my board into this canvas board sock and I place that into my actual board bag this is a fish board bag from creatures of leisure and I always used to think that to travel with a board you have to put all these fancy things like bubble wrap and pool noodles but my boyfriend who's a surfboard shaper and who's been surfing for his entire life told me that the key is actually just to keep it as light as possible so all I'm doing is I'm adding some bikinis and some towels as a little bit of protection around the board but honestly not that much because as I said the most important thing is that it stays light the reason why you want it to stay light is so that the people at the airport have an easier time moving your board because if it's too heavy they might just drag and throw your board around so that's it it's as easy as that in the past I always used to think that I need to add a lot more protection but whenever I've traveled with the setup it's been perfectly fine and my board has always arrived without any dings I came to El Salvador without any big expectations, I just wanted to go surf, but after two weeks in this beautiful place, I can honestly say that I fell in love with it. The waves were a dream come true, the La Pointe camp was probably one of my favorite surf camps that I ever stayed at, and the locals were so friendly and so nice. Everyone at La Pointe became a friend, and when I left, the chef Enrique actually gifted me a bag of corn flour so that I could make the traditional El Salvadorian pupusas at home i had such a great time and absolutely fell in love with this place thank you guys so much for your support and for watching this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys very soon